this is size 12 curved nymph hook and the first thing I'm going to add is lead foil just around in the middle that's it just a single layer and thread is light olive 6 so just about start from here touch and turn cover all this lead foil all the way just just level with the bob and the next step I would be adding is these white ostrich hull just to represent some breathing filament so level the tape Just catch them gently. Make sure they are sitting just on either side. I mean, it don't matter actually. You can alter them after. I'm going to catch this black thread at all. Same time here. I will explain everything as I go along. So once you catch that thread, pull it down, just skewer it all the way up. Open the thread, keep going, stop there. and then open the thread and come back all the way now here add some wax on the thread for well, body I'm using is is a clear stretch this is a one millimeter thick you can use olive color or any color you prefer um, probably a love lace okay I've just melted that end and then when you do you just pull it out gently so you create a little you just thin it down from this end and take this a little bit off so you can catch it easy also just about an inch roughly and then I'm just gonna kind of thin it down from here so you will see what I mean when it goes towards the head um, I'm going to catch this one here and then gently catch all the way to touch and turn open the thread just fill up all the gaps or anything you can see take your time with this pattern because like I said it's not easy to make so open the thread again and just stop there going to add some more wax on the thread Um body is a little bit darker so I'm gonna add some it's a kind of green olivish green color permanent marker so that's fine 
and a little bit just kind of light brownish on the top as well okay that's fine this is a sorry light brown I put on top permanent now just gently bring this um, stretch forward using touch and turn always try to hold the hook with your other hand in case it snaps out because it's that's better keep going then I'm going to stretch a little bit more and then just about catch it here take your time with this thing because it's a lot of hard work you know if you make a little mistake you have to start all over again so I'm gonna kind of secure this first and take this extra now all you have to do is just hold this thread back and I'm going to melt that a little bit so I can actually scale it properly that's fine now here I'm going to whip finish That's it. Okay, that's done. Um, the next step will be I would add some kind of tiny touches of light brown on top. And I would say and just to get a little coloring that's better and same time I'm gonna add a little more green olivish green on the body and just in, this will be the top of the body so just leave that side okay now use your other thread and this is just bring it forward one turn and come through each segment to catch this fiber you can see I'm just going to be keep checking if it's right now yeah this seems all right Let's make sure they are laying on the either side these are not necessary I mean it's just to, to make this fly look a little bit realistic you know but you don't have to put these if you don't want to you still catch a lot of fish In fact, I have just mm, kind of gone very close. So I'll just open this up and do it again, which is you can 
you can do it as many times as you want as unless you, until you're happy you know it's um, okay now and that's just about it and I'm gonna take these two pieces off adding some legs you can use any any legs I'm using pheasant tail fiber I'll just put them together and just kind of pull it out again to the length you want okay that's fine and I'm going to take this off the next two legs they just split up so what I'll do I'll just do one by one step wrong way around so let's see and another leg okay I'm just gonna hold this and then catch this one same time and just bring it you can alter the off after actually um, Take these off, put them together again. And put them here. Bring them together. This every time you put legs they'll be shorter and shorter and shorter, you know, they're shorter than the previous one. So these will be a lot shorter and just split them up. To either side and I'll just alter them in a bit. It's just uh, and then what I'll do I'll just keep bringing this Let's just bring them forward and now you can kind of bring them whichever you want the side you want them basically they just stay on our side on either side so now I'm gonna go behind this and then bring these legs a little bit forward so they stand out nicely and then kind of here what I'll do is whip finish now ok 
here. That's fine. Take this thread off. And then you bring your kind of whiskers a little bit forward. And on either side. Okay. Um sorry about the time but uh, like I said, you know I used to do this very quickly but I haven't been tying these like I says. I haven't been really bothered about you know putting the legs when I do my larvae I catch a lot more fish just uh, without these legs. I've been told by a friend you know why don't you just do something like the leggy part and then okay right best idea is to secure these legs is to kind of put some varnish just about here so they don't go anywhere right else. so it's all this done and this is uh, I'm going to add some just a first four or two or three millimeter just to add some black marker you know just to, and uh, the next step would be I gently just apply some varnish on the head just about thin coat so and I'm just gonna cut this tail shorter so as you can see just a bit more short that's better and I'm gonna cut these whiskers so there we have short. Rikefiller Cadiz Larvae. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully see you next time.